Alright, hey, what's up? Uh, what you doing, cat? Excuse me. Um, I, my workbench is out in the uh, garage, and therefore, cats like to be in the garage, and get they get into all sorts of trouble, so anyway, I digress. Uh, as you can tell, I'm working on another A-Wing right now. The first step, as you can see on this side, is to, was, uh, I primed the entire thing, I, I, I'm going to prime everything uh, gray first, just so I can see what I'm doing, and the first step, of course, is to, uh, to sand down, if any of y'all, of y'all are, uh, familiar, I should say, uh, hello to the, uh, Imperial Shipyards, uh, thanks for, uh, letting me, uh, come into your forums, and, uh, and, uh, start showing off, I guess, but, uh, before I get into that, excuse me, I'll adjust myself, okay, I'm ready. So, but I'm, I'm going to assume that most of y'all over at the shipyards are, are familiar with this this uh, toy, this this A-wing. All of the raised, oh, excuse me, all of the panel lines are raised here. So, uh, panel lines along with the rivets. So, in order to somewhat give it a more accurate look, uh, those need to be uh, shaved down and then rescribed into the uh, the plastic. So. The first step, uh, I hit the entire surface of it with my Dremel tool, um, and I don't have any attachment on it, but you basically just hit this, and I have a, a rotary sander, and just started taking all of those lines off. And then when you do that, you get somewhat of an impression of where it used to be, so that's where you can start scribing your lines back in. I've started doing that on this side and I'm gonna go easier than 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 what I did on the the previous one the the first one I mean yeah it it, it has its flaws you know so those, some of those flaws include the uh, the panel lines but these are not gonna be so so evident I guess uh, this time, I, this time I went along and uh, set a piece of scotch tape along the, the line of where I wanted to describe and slo slowly started scribing my line in with my tool which I don't have with me of course it's inside it's been getting colder so I moved inside uh, but you could see some of the shadow lines here and there but uh, believe me once I start getting into the uh, the actual detail work those lines will will pop out a little a little better so anyway that's it for the the hole right now that's all I've got as for the cockpit I've already gone and painted it I've got to touch up a few flaws here and there but this is what I've got so far and I don't know if it's gonna pick up yeah the, there they are I apologize I don't have the best camera in the world so if you could see those those little strands right here looking out right here these are oh, here we go didn't think of that um, these right here are, are the fiber optic threads that are going to be lit up by one LED at the bottom and uh, I've got some fibers running through through here through through got quite a few running through here a couple of extras here that I know don't really require lights but I thought, hmm, what the hell. It was easier to drill those lights out. Uh, so, again, let me see if I can get a close-up on it. That's gonna, that's the, uh, the actual dash that was, uh, molded into this version of the A-Wing. The first one I had was the early version that didn't have any detail. Uh, and I just added a few pieces of sprue here and there and drilled the light, the, the holes for the lights, and there you go but this one actually has some little controllers there for some detail but let me see if I can get a demonstration of how these are gonna work I have a light rigged up over here and let's see. once they start once the the, str the strands start catching light at the opposite end that's what lights up 
it's not <clears throat> excuse me it's not the entire strand of course but it is just the tip that you're seeing the light being filtered through so you just basically excuse me some of you have asked and uh, by by no stretch of the imagination am I an expert with this but this is uh, pretty much where, where all the magic happens you know you this is still wet so I'm not going to be able to do that but th here's an example of what I what I need um, what I usually do is uh, I take all of the strands here gather them up and then shove them into a tube and I need to reference before I, I do anything else I need to reference a gentleman on YouTube by the name of model man Tom and if uh, any of you are, f are familiar with him then you know that this guy is a badass mofo when it comes to uh, to painting and uh, generally just he, he has a lot of good tips practical tips that you can use uh, on your own to uh, achieve some really stunning effects um, but uh... anyway that that's it for now on, on the a-wing so uh... the cockpit is all kind of it's pretty much painted up already as far as i think i want to take it uh... i'm waiting for the fiber optics to uh... to uh... the glue back here to dry and then once that that is set later on today i may just go ahead and snip the ends of these uh, to get them to lay flush against the uh, the dashboard, but uh, that's it for now. Uh, my d my bench is a virtual graveyard of Star Wars model ship parts. Um, if uh, some of y'all have checked them out already, you know that I was working on this for a while. Uh, I'm not happy with the way the chrome came out, uh, although I may keep it. I'm not happy with this part. This I used some really heavy duty tape and it pulled on me. Uh, so I may leave it, I may do it again, but I'm definitely going to get rid of this yellow. I'm going to go with a more, um, I don't know, I'm going to go with a, with, with a different color. I think I'm going to use a blue this time around, so hopefully that'll look a little different, a little nice. Uh, I'll get that done pretty soon. I am working on this guy. This is the original cast of the B-Wing, so I have virtually no uh, detail in there to work with. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I'm not sure if I want to greebly that thing up. There's no way I'm going to put lights in this thing, because I don't want to break open this thing as any further than actually just doing undoing some screws. So, uh, that's where I'm at with the B-Wing. Everything is still pretty much pretty much excuse me disassembled just like the A-wing uh... everything has been primed on the B-wing right here uh, that's going to be my next project after I finish up the A-wing uh... Where, I am, where I'm at right now on this part is this has been sprayed with a very subtle subtle silver and uh... I hope <laughs> you know it looks so much well, it's always easier taking it apart than it is putting it back together, but I hope I can put it back together. Uh, I need to. Uh, but uh, uh, the mechanics in here are pretty much the reason why I won't be able to put any uh, any lights in the B-Wing. So it, it's just too complicated to kind of squeeze wires in and around without getting snagged or whatever. So I just thought this is going to be uh, more of a showpiece than a light up toy like the A-Wings are. So, um, oh, excuse me, let me show you where I'm at on the bottom of the a of the Naboo fighter. Uh, this as well, uh, let me see if I can get it. I'm at the, uh, the stage where it's got the the fibers threaded and I've got a battery back here that I, ooh, what did I do here? What did I do? I think I removed the light. Never mind. The uh, well, you know what? I've got another one here on my bench. Well, you know what? I'm out of time on this video, so I'll do that next time. Y'all have a good time. See y'all again. Happy modeling. Bye.